South Korea has unveiled a new set of unilateral sanctions aimed at completely shutting off North Korea's foreign currency earnings. Seoul has also blacklisted the North's ruling Workers' Party and key aides of its young leader, Kim Jong-un. Connie Kim reports. South Korea was quick in turning the screw a little tighter on North Korea by announcing a new set of unilateral sanctions on the regime. The announcement came less than 48 hours after the U.N. Security Council adopted its toughest resolution yet on Pyongyang for its nuclear test in September. By supplementing the new U.N. resolution, Seoul is hoping to ratchet up the pressure on the North by another notch. South Korea has been playing a leading role for the U.S., Japan, Australia and the European Union to lay out their own unilateral sanctions, in that Seoul has decided to impose another set of new unilateral sanctions on top of the independent sanctions it imposed on March 8. South Korea's latest set of sanctions targets 35 new entities and 36 new individuals, including the ruling Workers' Party of Korea and two key aides to North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, Workers' Party Vice Chairman Choi Jong hae and Vice Marshal Hwang byung so China's Tandung Hongxiang Industrial Development, accused of assisting the North's missile program, has also been added to South Korea's sanctions list, making Seoul the second country to blacklist the firm following the U.S. In addition, clothing manufactured in North Korea and 11 more North Korean minerals, including coal, steel and gold, will be banned from coming into South Korea via a third country. Also, under the new set of sanctions, foreign vessels that have docked in North Korea will not be able to dock in the South for a year, doubling the length of the entry ban from the previous announcement. The list also prohibits blacklisted individuals from a third country from entering Seoul and bans re-entry for foreign missile experts who are currently lecturing at South Korean colleges if they have conducted activities that go against South Korea's national interests in the North. While Seoul says that new sanctions are significant and that they expand its blacklist and raise awareness in the international community, there are also concerns the list has severely curtailed opportunities to mend inter-Korean relations in the future. Connie Kim, Arirang News.